Hey guys, we're back with the Next Gen Group CEO, John Walters. John, nice to chat with you today. Hi, Lisa. How are you? Doing well and lots of activity today going on here. We're pleased that you could join us. So big news, Single Stores just announced a brand new partnership with Next Gen. You guys are going to be the first value added distributor for Single Store in the Asia Pacific region. Talk to us about that. Yeah, very exciting for us. Um, yeah, we've had uh, Next Gen going for the last nine years, and the aim is to pull together next generation technology for our partners that so they can take their customers on the digital transformation journey. And um, pulling together a, a database uh, and single source solution is very important to us as we expand into the Asia Pacific region out of Australia and New Zealand. So this is sort of a kind of going into new territories together, single store and next gen. Talk to me a little bit about the APAC market. What's going on there? What are some of the industry trends that really showed you as group CEO this was the right partnership? Yeah. Look, the Australian New Zealand market is quite a mature market from enterprise technology perspective. And it's also a very good uh, ground to test new technologies and whether those technologies get some traction in the market. So we're going to be uh, launching with single store in Australia and New Zealand and really drive uh, that opportunity here as we then expand out into the sort of more the less mature Asia pack market or ASEAN market which is always a, a generally a couple of years behind uh, America and Australia as far as technology adoption maturity curve goes. So we'll be taking the lessons learned from Australia and New Zealand and, and uh, employing that throughout the Asia pack market. Talk to me a little bit about, I know that NextGen has over 50 partners. What value do you think you and your customers are going to get from this partnership? Yeah, um, our, our partners, as we've developed a mature relationship with them, are always looking for us to bring new technologies to market that would help um, circumvent some of the complexity in the current digital transformation journey, uh, reducing costs, adding scale, uh, and, and basically providing some simplicity. And we see Single Store as one of those key vendors that is coming into our market that can offer all, all of the above. So I think they'll look at what we bring to market, um, look at single store, and we'll help them uh, develop some opportunities throughout the, uh, the region. You mentioned a couple of buzzwords that we talk about with respect to every technology that customers need, simplicity. There's so much complexity. We've got to be able to eliminate as much as possible because digital transformation isn't easy. And of course, now where we are in 2020, it's accelerated. Let's take a peek at your go-to-market strategy as you're launching, as you said, first in Australia, New Zealand, and then going into ASEAN and other parts of APAC. Yeah. Look, um, our partners really uh, look at us bringing that new technology to market and go, if NextGen's done the due diligence, has worked at the uh, technology level to, to discover whether that we think there's an opportunity, then they'll look at single store and along with the complementary other products that we have around data management, around data protection, security, uh, and some of the other um, products that we take to market, you throw our services around it, which is migration to the cloud consultancy services, uh, um, uh, marketing services and financial services, then I think they'll be really looking at the single store uh, solution as an alternate to some of the more legacy products and solutions they've got uh, and taken to market today. John, are you anticipating any particular markets or verticals being leading edge in Australia and New Zealand as we see data volumes exploding, we see work from home, edge, IoT, anything that you think is really going to be leading edge? Yeah, look, um, I think for the whole database uh, and, and the data management side, um, financial um, FSI is always a big one. And they're always looking at how they can um, s support their customer base in a much more agile manner. So uh, certainly FSI is one of them. I think the other uh, opportunity that, that, that we're seeing is the transformation of some of the utilities uh, around oil, gas, power, electricity, uh, water, and so on. They're obviously trying to become a much more agile and customer focused. And what we're seeing at the moment with the whole um, work from home situation and retail, uh, bricks and mortar obviously are doing it tough. So it's the whole online experience 
and those companies are having to transform very, very quickly uh, to, to uh, support their customer base and, and keep their growth and, and sales going. So they're, they're the core areas and, that I see. Uh, and you have, a, I love how you have a neon sign grow behind you, but in terms of, of, of the environment now, you know, there's so much need for data now, yesterday's data, too late to be able to make informed decisions, especially if we think about what we could have been able to apply insights wise with respect to the situation that we're living in. But when you're talking with customers, as we see data management really being very complex, are those conversations yep. now happening at a higher level, like the C-suite level? Oh yeah, look, without a doubt, um, that, that's where it's all happening. And uh, that's where uh, decisions are being made uh, quickly. Um, that, that whole procurement process of uh, POs, long-winded POCs, uh, and going through the procurement cycle uh, are sort of not out the window, but certainly they've been um, truncated dramatically based on what we need to do to get um, technology to market to support customer bases and partners. Well, you know, one of the things that single source CEO Raj Verma said earlier today was that every company is a data company. And I think that's right. Uh, every company should be a data company, but that in order to become that, and be successful, they have to be able to leverage the data, which is coming from many, many sources of variety, you know, at various states of cleanliness. When you're talking with those those leaders, do they see data management as a business critical, like almost board level, that if we can't have access, fast access to our data and ensure that we can use it to extract insights quickly and make decisions, especially as we're pivoting so quickly in, in this COVID-19 situation, is that something that data management at the board level? Yeah, definitely. Um, a, a large part of our go-to-market and our sales over the last 12 months have been around the whole data management space, which, as I said it before, includes uh, protection, it includes moving data, it, it includes analysing data. And for those companies that in today's environment aren't looking at their data, using the data as the new oil, so to speak, uh, evaluate, evaluate it and analyze it. And then more importantly, what do they do with that data? Um, it is they're, they're, they're gonna be held left behind. I mean, one of the opportunities that we're taking to market with a uh, single store is that we've got a digital coverage model, which we've developed. And we're using all our data and other source data that we're drawing on to look for opportunities in the market ahead of, ahead of just that old marketing shotgun approach and see what people are Googling for uh, on the internet at URL and mobile device level and see whether around a set of topic clusters, we can support a sale of single store out into the market. So we're using the That's data and we're really, sort of drinking, drinking our own water. Yeah. That's fantastic. You're actually using single store to help determine and navigate your go-to-market strategy? Yeah, um, we're, we're evaluating that at the moment. Single store could become part of our digital coverage model platform and be a, a source vendor on that platform. Outstanding. Well, John, congratulations on being Single Store's first value-added distributor in right now, ANZ, expanding to other parts of Asia Pacific. We appreciate you joining us at Revolution today. Right. Thanks, Lisa. It's been wonderful talking to you from uh, down under in Australia. Thank you. Great talking to John. I love how we can come together virtually, California, Australia and really see the impact that this technology is making worldwide.